What's going on, everybody? Eddie Sounded back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment at long last. Once again, I do apologize, but you know how we do things around here. He always comes back, even if it's like 80 years later. And we're here, we're buckled up, and we've got some brand new skins at a new track. This being the Shulker 8 Oval Layout that we are going to attack with the NASCAR Legends here today. And our brand new number 45 Jumpman Kurt Busch scheme, which is an absolute beauty. Let's see if we can knock a little bit of the rust and dust off and get ourselves our first dub in a little while. And away we go. There we go. Buckle up. Pull those belts tight. One more time, like Larry Max says, we'll get away from the other Kurt Busch car here. The multiverse of Kurt's. And he pushed Ty Dillon wide, pushed all of us out. Now we're pushing everybody. Everybody's pushing everybody. I'm going to push William Byron straight through this corner and give him the bump. And Michael McDowell, what are you doing? In the Melon Mobile. The Moose Mobile might actually be more accurate at this point. It's coming back for round two. He's not done. The multiverse of Melon Man, dude. There were a couple of Chastain cars in that wreck, and I can't even get away with my life here. We have another scheduled meeting with the guardrail. Can I, oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Didn't even make it a lap. What a wreck fest welcome back that is right there. Like, what better way to break the ice than to just get handed a total technical knockout straight to the face? That what? There wasn't even anything technical about that. It's just a knockout. And down here, the final blow of ass whoopery gets handed down to us by Austin Sindrick, just going full torpedo mode on us. I don't think I want to be on the outside of Denny Hamlin. Who lined that bumper up, by the way? We we got some decal devastation out here. Speaking of devastation, I don't even know what just happened. The portal through the backstretch just closed right on us, right on my head. Oh, and we're packing people left, right, and center. Can't even get back around the right way. Please spare me here. Just a cool, like, 20th three corners into the race. That's fantastic. Tyler Reddick, would you please? I do not need any extra tire checks. I have had enough for one lifetime. I don't need you sending me on tire check tours as Chick Hicks just barely missed the missile strike. And here's a little revenge right here. Landon Castle. Oh, my. The multiverse strikes back. Hold on. We got Kurt on Kurt violence, and this is getting ugly. I got six health, one health. Oh my God. Don't breathe on me. Get off me. And then he kills me by barely breathing on me. Predictable. Got to run through the replays of this one. This backstretch just decided, nope, no passage for you. Let's all hit the wall at the same time. Just kill him. Tyler Reddick's going to do humanity a service. Take me into the toughest tires in the history of like human civilization. Those things did not move an inch. Goodyear could never. They have never once developed a tire that strong. Those things would have disintegrated on contact if that was a Goodyear Eagle. And, uh, well, I'm going to disintegrate on contact here in a moment thanks to my clone, Kurt. And even Kyle's got to come in and get a few shots. It's a bush fest down here. And on that note, we got to get out of here. I don't think there's any safe place around here. Ty Dillon's just going to keep taking me to the wall like it's his job, and it's going to work out very poorly for him. But the 45 on 45 violence will not cease. This sucks. Couple Stooges stuck on the wall. Brad's one of them. Don't ask questions. What are we doing up here? Do we want to get packed or do we want to move out of the way, Hamlin? Let's make a decision. Out of the way we go. It's a double, actually. You got a little bit of both. That's just part of what we do here. We supply everybody with everything, like blasting Blaney to the moon and back for a little Space Force mission. Giving them rank here. Who's doing donuts? Michael, what are you doing? Michael McDowell just being a menace out here to society. He's taking down everybody. Be like this, Mike. Don't be like that, Mike. <laughs> and we let Kyle Larson look here. Look, listen, Kyle Larson is good enough. We do not need to be wrecking ourselves and just letting him run away with these damn wins. Like how the 14 just freaking gave me a free spot. These are a bunch of geniuses out here. The fact that we just somehow pulled a podium out of this race is like that should that, that put me in the Hall of Fame. Put me where I belong. Don't look at this, though. I don't know what else there is to really look at at all. Don't look at that. Don't you look. Avert your eyes. Driving the moose car is like wearing the Venom suit. Like whoever's in it is just destined to be an absolute mad lad the entire race, I guess. Oh, hello, Dennis. And goodbye, Dennis. We'll be seeing you. That's a crime against Blaney right there. Caught in 4K and caught in the mosh pit down here. Can we please move? We do not need the roadblock to spontaneously appear. And who would have thunk it? The moose car once again holding us down, and the 45 is on us again. Please get me away from that maniac. There's no telling what will happen. I've been there, buddy. That sucks, and he's getting rammed into. That is a tough life to live that I know all too well, and we might know it here again out of the corner because you know something stupid's going to happen down here as we just run into another roadblock. The rolling roadblock that just turns into a regular roadblock. We got Brad doing donuts down here. That's a nice winning mentality, but can we do that after the race? I'm getting roadblocked again down here. This is really turning tragic on us real fast. 
I'm getting the roadblock treatment. I'm getting the speed bump treatment right now. Can we please? Down to 42 health. This is a disgrace. Can I actually finish this race with a chance here? We got Austin. We oh, Look at the scoreboard. How, how in the hell are we even in this right now? There is a close battle going on. Get me out of here. Anything. I'll do this whole damn thing in reverse. That won't even be that hard. My car actually kind of drives better this way. If I could actually get any kind of speed doing that, I would. But we got to get the hell going here. We got to hunt down Harrison Burton. That might not be that hard. He's choking. He's blowing it. He's stepping on things that should not be stepped on. He's getting stepped on. He's dead. Removed. Deleted. The one was not involved, but I'm calling that a photo finish. Damn it. We got the dub. Give it to me. Give me the trophy. Victory. Well, that was like short, sweet, compact brutality right there. Short and sweet. Almost a little too short. Sweet. And I mean, I didn't feel that way in the moment. Look at this. We get packed, slammed, slapped, Will smith you name it, it happened to us. And we still somehow crawl away with the dub, but you know what time it is, partner. We're not done. All right, start your Hail Marys or what have you now, because this is about to get brutal. This track was pretty killer before we turn any kind of physics mods on it. Now we are going to do exactly that. Pinball and Moon Gravity are coming off the bench. We're putting them in the game. We're about to get slayed, probably sent to the moon. So let's see how this goes. Well, like we said, preload your T's and P's because we're going to need those probably pretty shortly. I am surprised it hasn't started already, but but there it is like a ticking time bomb it will go off eventually oh my god duck and cover fans oh we gave somebody a haircut i swear to god we got so close i just bodied a tree there's devastation and destruction everywhere you looked just absolutely melting down at the core and here we go i'm i'm doing some kind of nuclear reactor move right now i don't even know what you would call this but we might be able to power a small nation with that energy I don't like the looks of this at all. And there it is. I can tell that was going wrong real quick. Unmistakable. And it always ends in my destruction. Speaking of which, like literally as the words are coming out of my mouth, my face gets removed. That's not the kind of jump man stuff I'm trying to do. That jump man nugget is something funny to think about. The jokes literally write themselves and we just get blasted into orbit right off the bat. Hops like no other. And I wish my car had the strength of that tree I just bounced off of. You want to talk about a blind side? What am I supposed to do about this? That's a technical foul if I've ever seen one. And those guys will be getting ejected in more ways than one. Consider the APB on the two and the four out for causing ruckus. And here goes the ruckus of the restart that you know is going to happen. You know it's going to strike. These are the rules that we play by. Never makes it hurt any less, though, does it? It always hurts a little bit. It always stings like this one. Every shot I take to the face, those definitely sting it in my own ass on the side of the wall that's tremendous oh and there goes suarez getting launched around us in reverse should we call that sonoma style we haven't done one of these since suarez finally got it done Atta boy it's a track house season in case you can't tell oh hey we're gonna run into everybody affiliated with track house today i guess that is the that was ross chastain in a chastain car and another chastain car is taking me out down the back stretch i cannot escape him they got the bounty out on me and i'm i just got cleaned up with some time Blasted out. They have like the road core. They have a roval out here, and I just got sent to it. Come on, anybody else? You're running out of chances. Joey, y'all, oh, that was a Joey in a Joey car. What is going on out here? You guys think I'm kidding when I'm telling you this game knows too much. It's oh, and then he's driving backwards while dead. Yo, this game is starting to get scary. The Wreckfest is the truest horror game out there. That was genuinely terrifying. I can't even explain it. I'm running into more dead people out here. It's over with. And I've lost to Kyle Busch. So now my will to live is at an all-time high. It's skyrocketing, you could say. Somebody better skyrocket me across the finish line because I've had about enough of this. And we're still going to be in second, basically, no matter what, unless they kill me. Which I wouldn't even I, I, I wouldn't even oppose at this point. What a, what a competition. And Lawson and all that. Oh, they're the 19. Where the hell did he come from? And the 45, of course, for more Kurtception. Then just a matter of moments, we get swept away by the high tide. Absolutely bullied. I just want to see this frustration shot on the 84. He's just sitting there like, can I get out of my car yet? And then we come along. He's like, nope. All right. Okay. All right. Well, damn. Doesn't take long. That went exactly how I drew it up, actually, you know? The late, great John Madden would be impressed with the way I just whiteboarded that into existence as I go flying across the sky. That is a tremendous start. Could you imagine the lead I would have if it didn't make me reset that huge launch? Eric, please. Please, I don't need any parting shots. I know your career's coming to a close. Oh, my God. Ricky in the <laughs> Ricky in the chick car is absolutely smashed over here. Hold on. Get a look at that thing. Sheesh. 
And somehow we're in second after the events that just transpired. I don't know what we just did. We did like a double donut. I'm slapping Suarez with like a supercharged pack into the corner. And Eric Almirola is still coming after me. He's not done. He's literally not done. He has not had enough. He is not satisfied. But I'm satisfied because I just went around Suarez and now we're in the lead. This is an incredible turn of events. And I got the roadblocks coming out on me once again. That just gives me another incredible shot of Ricky. Their chick is having a horrible time. Suarez isn't even in this race. I can, I can totally disregard him. The 48 flying over the wall as we are going to get the dub. Somebody ducking cover over there. Well, there you have it. Every now and then we have one race like this where if this was a real life event, you would have to sign a sheet of waivers so thick. It'd be thicker than an encyclopedia. The risk would be so huge. We get shot all over the place and still... We rise up to the occasion, get those dubs, and that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed this episode because that's where we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the near future. With that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!